Today's configuration is all about 3504 wireless LAN controller. But first, let me give you an introduction about 3504W LAN controller. The Cisco 3504 wireless controller provides centralized control, management, and troubleshooting for small to medium-sized enterprises and branch offices. It offers flexibility to support multiple deployment modes in the same controller, a centralized mode for campus environments, Cisco Flex Connect mode for lean branches managed over the WAN, and a mesh or bridge mode for deployments in which full Ethernet cabling is unavailable. To start with, open Cisco Packet Tracer version 7.3. I already put some important notes on the right side of logical workspace. Just in case I forget things along the way. Believe me, it is very helpful to have notes as an extension of your memory. 3504W LAN controller is not available in previous version of Cisco Packet Tracer. 3504W LAN controller is located at wireless devices, get one together with two lightweight access point or LAP. Lightweight access point is an 802.11a and G dual band with zero touch configuration and management access point that delivers secure, cost-effective wireless access with advanced WLAN services for enterprise deployment. Aside from wireless devices, I also need a DHCP server, a PC, a network switch, a laptop, and a wireless tablet. Rename the network devices as follows. Wireless LAN controller 0 is WLAN controller. Server 0 is DHCP server. PC0 is Studio PC. Switch0 is Studio Switch. Lightweight Access Point0 is Lap1. Lightweight Access Point1 is Lap2. Laptop 0 is Client 1, and Wireless Tablet 0 is Client 2. Let us configure the DHCP server. Open the DHCP server, and go to IP Configuration of Desktop tab. Select Static and provide an IP address 192.168.10.1, and a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. Close the IP configuration. Open Services tab. Select DHCP. Turn on the service. No need to change the pool name. Provide 192.168.10.1 as the default gateway. Skip the DNS server. Provide 192.168.10.10 as the start IP address. Using the same subnet mask. With 50 as the maximum number of users. Press the save button and close the DHCP server. We're done configuring the DHCP server. Move to WLAN controller. But in order to access 3504 WLAN controller, we need the keyboard, mouse, and monitor of Studio PC to open the GUI of WLAN controller. Connect the Studio PC Fast Ethernet 0 to Giga Ethernet 1 of WLAN controller using crossover cable. Open the Studio PC and go to Desktop tab. Click the command prompt and request for an IP address using the command IP config space slash renew. Wait for a while until the request is given by WLAN controller. The default gateway 192.168.1.1 is the default IP address of WLAN controller at Gig Ethernet 1. Close the command prompt. Open the web browser. Provide http colon slash slash 192.168.1.1 and press go.
It will take time to open the 3504W LAN controller GUI, so just wait. Once open, provide Silver 10 Space Studio as the admin username. Provide S10S-Pass as the admin password, and repeat this password in the confirmation. The created admin username and password will serve as mechanism to protect WLAN controller, from any unwanted user that tend to change the setting of WLAN controller. Do not forget the admin username and password. Because there is no way to reset the WLAN controller. But only in Cisco Packet Tracer. Press Start. The following setup controller are good for LAN use. Provide Silver 10 Space LAN as the system name. The country, date and time, as well as the time zone are the by default and based on the PC that you are using. Provide 192.168.10.100 as the management IP address. Provide 255.255.255.0 as the subnet mask. and provide 192.168.10.1 as the default gateway. Press Next. Now let's create a setting for wireless networks. Provide Silver 10 Space WLAN as the network name. Leave the security as it is. Provide Silver 10 Connect as the passphrase, and do the same in the confirmation. Press Next. Leave the advanced setting as it is. Press Next. And lastly press Apply. WLAN controller setting is done. Close the Studio PC's pop-up window. Disconnect WLAN controller from Studio PC, and connect it to Giga Ethernet 0 slash 2 of Studio Switch using crossover cable. Connect Studio PC Fast Ethernet 0 to Studio Switch Fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. Connect DHCP Server Fast Ethernet 0 to Studio Switch Giga Ethernet 0 slash 1. Connect LAP 1 Gigabit Ethernet 0 to Fast Ethernet 0 slash 21 of Studio Switch. Connect LAP 2 Gigabit Ethernet 0 to Fast Ethernet 0 slash 22 of Studio Switch. Open LAP1 and plug the power adapter. Do the same thing for LAP2. Now, let's open the Studio PC and reconfigure the IP address with its new connection. Select Desktop tab, and open the command prompt. Provide a command IP config space slash release to remove the existing IP address. Again, use the command IP config space slash renew to request for new IP address. But this time, Studio PC is requesting a new IP address to DHCP server. Wait until the IP address request is given. Close the command prompt and go to web browser. Web browser is the only way to see the GUI of WLAN controller. Provide https colon slash slash 192.168.10.100 as the new and secured URL of WLAN controller. Sometimes, it will take time to open the GUI of WLAN controller. Just be patient if that happen. Press login. Provide Silver 10 Space Studio as username. And S10S passes password for this WLAN controller. Press login. The GUI of WLAN controller is shown, and the monitor tab is open by default. Scroll down to access point summary. This summary provides a table that let us know. The total number of LAP connected on WLAN controller, the capabilities of each LAP, and show the number of LAP that are up and running. Press wireless tab to know the details of each LAP. AP name, IP address, model, MAC address, uptime, and so on are displayed.
press WLANs tab. Here, are the detailed list of WLAN connected to WLAN controller. WLAN ID, type, profile name, WLAN SSID, admin status as well as security policies as seen in this table. Press go to create a new WLAN. Provide a profile name, Silver 10 WLAN 2. With an SSID Studio Space WLAN. Press Apply. Enable the status at the General tab. Select Security tab. Provide WPA plus WPA2 as Layer 2 Security. Provide WPA2 policy as WPA plus WPA2 parameters. Provide PSK Enable as Authentication Key Management. Provide Studio Connect as PSK phrase. Press Apply and go back to WLAN tab. New WLAN will be listed shortly. If it takes time for new WLAN to appear, then press Refresh. Still not shown. Then close the web browser of Studio PC and open it again. Move to Client 1 for a meantime. Turn off the power button and replace the LAN adapter with PT-Laptop-NM-W-AC. Turn the laptop on. Open the Config tab, and select Wireless Zero Interface. Provide Silver 10 Space WLAN as the SSID. Select WPA2 PSK for authentication. Provide Silver 10 Connect as the PSK passphrase. Close the client pop-up window. Wait until the wireless connection between LAP and Client 1 is done. Note that Client 1 can be connected to either LAP 1 or LAP 2. This time move to Client 2. Open the Config tab, and select Wireless Zero Interface. Provide Studio Space WLAN as the SSID. Select WPA2 PSK for authentication. Provide Studio Connect as the PSK passphrase. Close the client pop-up window. Wait until the wireless connection between LAP and Client 2 is done. Again, the Client 2 can be connected to either LAP 1 or LAP 2. Return to Web Browser Studio PC once the two clients are connected. Go back to GUI of WLAN controller. See the client summary just below the access point summary. If you've seen two current clients, then this tutorial is done. But before you go, if you're still watching this video, most probably you like it, so hit the like button. If you want to see more of my video, please hit subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of my latest upload video, you can press the notification bell. What do you think about my work, please leave a comment. Thank you for watching, and have a peaceful day ahead.